Hey everyone, welcome back to more Zelda Deluxe 4th Quest. And we've cleaned out a couple more levels in the last part. Uh, the next few parts might just be one level apart. It might be long enough that, unless I want like a 45 minute video, if I just put one level in the part. So I'm probably going to do 4-2 in this part. Uh, that might be actually all I can do. And still continuing to collect up money. It's a lot easier to get to uh, 4 2. You don't have to go into like the maze uh, maze path or anything, so no long, you know, you don't have to take a detour. Just go straight up the stairs. A lot easier to get up here. And four two is in its usual spot. You just have to push a different stone. Other than that, it's the exact same spot. Outside or something. There's something went on out there. I mean, I didn't turn on my heater or anything. It's actually not that cold outside right now. A little sunny out there. Kinda sucks I don't have a hammer. I'm just gonna have to make do with a simple strategies. in this room. Was there a Gleok in the first quest? I'm trying to remember, but I think there was. If there was, it certainly changed the row. Now it's just, uh, just regular enemies. Or an Aquamentus or something. I think it was a Gleok, but I'm not sure. I have to look over uh, my, my 
videos to see what it what it actually was. Okay, this level normally has uh, two items. I think the second one you got like the yellow candle and the uh, the raft in this level, I believe. But again, remember there's a, there can only be one item per level. So if there are any excess uh, items that normally are present, they're just going to be replaced with heart pieces. And usually the item of the levels in the more difficult location. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult because I have no hammer. Just got to be a little more quicker on my feet. to the right here, but might as well. I'm you know, spamming all the dark nuts in this place. No walk through walls or bombable walls. Because I used to get like the, I guess the quiver, <clears throat> like a medium quiver upgrade in this place, but you know, again, there's none of that because it's all in just one shop. And I'm still very glad I have no potion, because I have nothing to waste. is pretty much uh, it's quite a bit more linear than the others because not not as many like, tricky walls and stuff to find. A lot of it's kind of just given out to you. Because again, you've, assuming you've played the prior quest, you kind of already know what to expect. Usually I bought the hammer already. And if you play the second quest, you'll know how to get to that boss key, because it's the same way. At least I, I think it's the same way. I was 
There's only two red bubbles in this room. Gotta be a little bit cautious on this one. I'm pretty sure there are blue bubbles nearby. I think it's in this, the traditional room. Dark nuts in here. Now, luckily, it's just more of a mixture of these. You only got one of those dark nuts to deal with. You might as well get rid of all the easier stuff first. At least they're less of an issue because I'm again I've matched up on armor and only do one heart of damage now, not two. I only had a blue and they do two hearts. And now they only do one heart, so it's a lot more manageable. to get that. Yeah, I still have the taller room in this level. Although I probably made that much money in this level already, to be honest. So at this point, it starts getting pretty linear. You can't really skip levels. You can't really jump around because you... It's kind of hard to tell what the item would be, actually, because it's not the raft. I already have that. So most items find a use. Even the ones that are nor normally kind of useless find a way to use them. This is an interesting boss, because it changed from a Dig Dogger to uh, a Moldorm. It can be kind of a tricky battle, actually. I guess the doorway, you're relatively safe, but, you know, using bombs may not be such a bad option. Might as well get my one candle use right there. Although I, I do need to preserve some bombs. I can't just recklessly throw all these away. So I'm gonna probably have to use my sword for most of this. no good because they're only going to hit one target. I'm already knocking out some of the pieces. That was a good shot there. Knocked a whole bunch of them with that. This thing should be pretty much close to dead, so the sword should be able to do the rest of it. Oh, 
I got a cereal, right? Oh my fucking got my rice back there. Sorry, regain sniping ability. Step into the portal just yet because we haven't even found the item of this level yet. So, gotta find that first. And you're gonna need it anyway. I needed to preserve at least some number of bombs. Couldn't just go reckless on the bombs on the Moldor. I mean, I have enough bombs to just use the regular two bomb strategy. I can potentially get more money. Also, if you use the again the smoke trick, you only can break even on bombs. You can't. You don't get four bombs, you only get two. Oh, that's some arrows back. This is where you get your hammer. Would have been pretty helpful in this level. And you're gonna need this hammer to get in the 4 3, as, you know, was given by the hint. So at least they put a lot of these optional items. Uh, a lot of them are still optional, but some of them do become required now. some good we can pick up now. Now we have the hammer. This area where I think we got the letter here, and just kind of walk through the kind of secret wall there. Now that we have the hammer, we can actually uh, pick up this piece of heart, conveniently giving another heart container. Alright, let me 
pretty good progress there. Got the hammer. Uh, next part will go into 4-3, and we'll take out that place. Alright, see you guys later.